Uh, I'll invite the first speaker of today, Zana Gusta, which is representative of Leopold's uh, University, University of Leopold, and uh, her topic is about hobby and business, the potential of new entrepreneur. Let's welcome her with a round of applause. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, thank you for inviting. Um, uh, today I will represent Liepaja University because I used to as a student there and now I am a lecturer and I would like to share my experience um, how I started the business when I was still a student and uh, uh, yeah actually my business is uh, my hobby and uh, I will share my experience. Um, yeah usually students they think uh, when they will uh, graduate, then they will start a business. But actually, it's just um, a losing of time. Uh, it's better to start a business when you are a student. Um, and I will uh, tell about my experience where I was uh, back in 2014 and uh, where I am now. So now I am 30 years old, uh, young or old, uh, so I have a family. I got a bachelor degree in tourism and uh, recreation management, and I have a master degree, and I work uh, in Liepaja University now, and it's like my second home. And um, I started the business uh, Lavender Villa when I was in my first uh, year of uh, studies. And um, yeah, back in 2014, uh, um, for several years, I was living abroad, and I moved back to my hometown, Liepaja, and I decided to start uh, study in uh, Liepaja University in tourism because I like to travel, and I thought uh, maybe I could uh, make some unique tourism product uh, here, uh, here in Latvia. And um, yeah, uh, in first year of my studies, uh, me and my husband, we decided to move to countryside, which is close to Liepaja. And uh, yeah, if you want to start uh, to work uh, or develop a new tourism product um, in, um, in nowhere, you need uh, lots of money. And usually students, they don't have money. And uh, yeah, we moved to this, uh, this uh, country house and there was uh, this uh, meadow uh, land, uh, 2.9 hectare. And uh, I was thinking, what can I do without money, without no time? Because students usually, they don't have time. Uh, but I had 100 ideas. I wanted to do something uh, nice, what I can enjoy. And uh, we decided to grow lavender. And my first uh, student grant, which was around 100, uh, 100 euros, uh, I invested to buy uh, first lavender plants. And uh, now after eight years, we have developed three um, brands. Uh, so we are producing lavender products and I will tell you about more those products. And in 2017, we started to provide uh, tourism services like uh, accommodation and uh, well-being activities. And also we are uh, producing uh, lavender um, uh, food, uh, lavender drinks, and um, yeah, more about the products. Um, so uh, we are um, producing uh, toys, which are filled with dry lavender. It's uh, for kids and also for the adults. Uh, they can play and they make you uh, feel calm. And uh, yeah, we got, uh, got support, financial support in 2017, uh, and we made a guest house. And uh, last year we bought a new property by the sea. And uh, now we can accommodate uh, more than 50 people. And so we started uh, from empty place. And uh, now we also provide well-being activities like uh, lavender degustation and uh, master classes, well-being activities uh, like yoga, uh, painting classes, and our uh, 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 tour, uh, lavender villa is very popular for the uh, weddings. And um, yeah, now we also provide services for, for, the, for the new couples. Um, 
and um, yeah, I would like to share my keys to success and the biggest challenges uh, um, in business when you are a student. Um, there are only three keys. Um, so the first key is definitely uh, you need to do what you like. Uh, usually in Latvia, there is a problem like when you see neighbor uh, success uh, that, that uh, he is doing very successful business. Of course, you want to do the same. But uh, if you don't like uh, that, what you do uh, where you work, uh, there is no success. So my suggestion is um, low what you do and do what you love. Otherwise, you will fail. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, the third key of the success is you need to choose the priorities. Uh, usually students, uh, they say they don't have time, they have to uh, need to spend time with friends, um, they like to party, uh, but uh, if you don't focus on your idea, then you will also fail. So uh, my suggestion is to find uh, the uh, three, four priorities in your life and uh, forget about i just don't have the time right now because from my experience uh, what i understand uh, in the first year second year of my studies uh, when you do more um, uh, you can uh, make uh, better, better things in your business and it's time management and uh, of course uh, support is uh, very important in business uh, First, when I came up with this idea to grow lavender, uh, some of my friends, they said, uh, you are crazy, you will not make a success. Uh, uh, just uh, don't listen to those friends um, and uh, you need the support from your family. Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, uh, you will not believe your idea and uh, you will not make it and you will not reach it. Uh, your idea and uh, yeah uh, what I would like uh, also uh, say about the challenges of course in uh, in Latvia uh, uh, usually the uh, the biggest challenges here uh, in small business you have to be emulator so you have to do everything uh, uh, so uh, you need to do all the paperwork you need to contact with the clients and uh, when you are studying uh, you can ask advice for your lectures and it's uh, very good to combine uh, when you are student to ask advice from your lectures and uh, yeah to to make successful a business so yeah uh, hopefully everyone who who is listening now this uh, if they have ideas please uh, start to achieve these ideas and uh, yeah uh, that that's um, that from my side it's all uh, if you have any questions you can ask me you're welcome thank you Zana. Uh, it was uh, it was very interesting to, to, to listen to your presentation. Um, do you do you mind to, to ask me how did the uh, how did you caught caught the uh, the idea of, of taking a look at the uh, the countryside and, and searching ideas there? Where was the, your inspiration to, to do that? Uh, why we decided to move to countryside? Uh, me and my husband we are such a big dog lovers uh, so we decided uh, to move to countryside because uh, they have better life in countryside not in small apartment uh, uh, yeah that was the reason why we moved to countryside uh, yeah uh, th there was only this reason i, I see um did um did you came across many business ideas that uh, when well, until you you came I to this came one? <laughs> yeah, I came across, uh, uh, first uh, we had uh, one business idea, uh, but it was a big fail actually. Uh, yeah, as I told, we are such a big dog lovers and first business idea was in uh, back in 2014 that we wanted to make a dog's hotel, hotel for dogs, uh, but uh, then uh, in back in that time people wasn't ready to pay, uh, pay for this service. Uh, 
now maybe uh, that uh, this idea would work, but in that time it uh, didn't work. It was more like a hobby. Uh, we made kennels for the dogs, but uh, there was uh, just few clients. And actually this business is quite dangerous because sometimes they, the dogs are not friendly. <laughs> Uh, that's why we, uh, after when my daughter, when she born, I, uh, I decided to stop this business. We still have some clients. Uh, we look after them, um, but uh, just few clients a year. So they are more like a friends, um, not, not like uh, clients. So, but uh, yeah, when you fail, uh, the, uh, keep going and uh, you can find another way how to uh, make a business. So uh, that's, that's great. Um, I wanted to ask you, since we usually learn from our failures, right? Uh, what was the most, uh, what was the, uh, the key things that you learned from the previous uh, business that you tried? Uh, what I learned, it was uh, more focusing because sometimes we don't have time and we don't focus on little things. And that's why we fail sometimes. And uh, uh, yeah, you need to focus on little things, otherwise uh, you will also will fail. Okay, and um, and since uh, today's topic is to re reinvite, uh, reinvent the the future, what are the the future plans for for your business at the moment? What's the uh, what's your goal at at the moment? Where you want to be? For uh, our future plan, as I told in presentation last year, we decided to buy a new uh, property. Like uh, uh, one, uh, our first proper property is located in Grobinja, and there is like uh, no tourism resources. There is no sea, there is no river, there, there is just a land and uh, these holiday houses and lavender field. So the uh, tourism season is quite short, in, only in summer season. But uh, that's why we decided we need to buy a new property, where is uh, more tourists, uh, where is a uh, uh, sea or some uh, water, with, uh, because tourists like uh, that. Um, so uh, th that's why we uh, bought a new land. And that, that is uh, our uh, future goal, to make uh, new well-being activities in um, uh, in our new property, uh, that uh, our new property is uh, close to Pavlovsta, and uh, there is all year season. There is now this uh, short season, uh, like in uh, our first property. Okay, um, I, I, I do believe it's a it's a very beautiful, uh, very beautiful place. And um, do you um, did you did you went through uh, through a lot of ideas while on a stage uh, of uh, figuring out what could you do there? Um, when, uh, as as you said, you went back to to Leopaya and then uh, took a look at this field. And what what crossed your mind at that moment? What crossed my mind? Um, actually, I was leaving uh, uh, when I was leaving aboard. Uh, I was missing uh, my uh, family, my friends, my hometown. That's why I moved back to Liepāja. And I want, uh, I got this uh, global experience and I wanted to make something in, uh, in uh, my hometown, in the hometown area. Uh, yeah, maybe that was, uh, that what crossed my mind. <laughs> I see. And um, is there something that you want to tell a little bit more about your, your product? Uh, what are the use of it and, and, uh, and, and uh, which are the, the fields that you focus on? We focus, actually, we focus on two uh, products. So one, uh, like this lavender product. Uh, so and other is tourism services. Uh, usually the uh, people who work in tourism, they say in Latvia, there is a very short this season. So there's only six or eight weeks to work. Uh, for us, uh, we can uh, make a work for all year long uh, because in summertime, we, we provide more those uh, tourism products, uh, services, and all year long, we can produce uh, lavender toys, which are filled with dry lavender. Also, we make us uh, in small quantity, uh, lavender oil, uh, lavender benches, uh, lavender tea. Uh, we have uh, different type of products. Uh, we are focusing on all those products. 
I see. Um, have I actually heard an idea of? Uh, um, it wasn't in Laffy, I believe it's in uh, Italy or somewhere, but uh, all of these uh, lavender fields that you can actually rent it out for the photo session. Have uh, anything like that crossed your mind? We are doing actually, I think now this uh, 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 in 2021 uh, and in upcoming years, uh, people live in this picture, uh, uh, picture era because uh, they they uh, they don't uh, uh, they are not interested more in uh, lavender they are interested to take beautiful pictures and post in instagram and uh, yeah we are renting out uh, our lavender field also for the photo uh, sessions i see i see that's uh, that's that's great to hear that you have a lot of uh, interesting ways uh, to to approach uh, to approach the business um Maybe you can tell where where are your products? Uh, where can we find your products? We have our online store. Also, we uh, sell our products in our uh, uh, farm, and uh, we have some partners in uh, in UK and uh, also in Germany and in um, Sweden. So uh, we are. Um, uh, uh, we have some contacts in Latvia. Latvian market is very small. That's why we are not uh, selling in uh, big quantities. But uh, we have some partners. Uh, as I told, we we sell in small quantities. Uh, but uh, we have some uh, regular partners uh, in other countries uh, across in Europe and uh, in Latvia. We are selling uh, by uh, using our uh, online store. I see, uh, and. What is one advice that you wish that you would get while you was a student? Advice about, uh, I didn't know how uh, uh, difficult it is uh, to open a new business in Latvia about the paperwork. Uh, yeah, uh, my advice is uh, to get some uh, uh, yeah, actually, I, I, I need to think a bit about this uh, advice. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I, I see. Well, uh, thank, thank you, uh, thank you, Zana, for, for uh, this, uh, this wonderful uh, presentation. And um, one, uh, maybe one, one last advice that you want to, uh, to tell to inspire uh, all, the, all the students and everyone who's just starting, uh, starting out. Believe your your idea. You will fail. Definitely, you will fail. But keep going, and you will reach your your success. Okay. Well, uh, Zana, thank you. It was wonderful to to talk to you. Uh, I, I hope we all enjoy your your presentation.